Hi, it's Vicky here and today I will be creating a new art journal layout featuring Stamperia products. So first of all I am going to prepare my pages by applying some gesso and I'm doing so because I will be using acrylic paints. So I will be using uh, these two acrylic paints by Stamperia and uh, they are from their line Allegro which is nice and fluid and it's perfect for uh, mixed media. These uh, acrylic paints that I will be using are nicely applied with a flat brush like uh, the one that uh, you see here. I use one that is uh, nice and soft and uh, the acrylic paints that I'm using are actually permanent so when they dry they do not react with water. So here is a great technique that uh, you can use, it's very easy and uh, it uh, results into great and uh, striking backgrounds. So I am using only two colors that complement each other and I am using my brush to apply the first color, the blue in this case. Notice how I apply the color only vertically, so I'm only moving my brush up and down. I am not going to cover up the whole page, but uh, I leave uh, some about half of the page for the other color. Now I'm going to wash my brush and uh, with the second color I'm going to fill in the gaps. As I'm coloring the gaps I'm making sure that I also apply a little bit of uh, the light green over the blue. All the supplies that I'm using today are listed as always just below the video in the details area on YouTube as well as on my blog. Today I'm featuring Stamperia. They have uh, tons of products that uh, can be used in uh, mixed media and uh, art journaling and uh, you will uh, see me using uh, many of them today so you can see how you can uh, work them out and uh, come up with uh, great results. After finishing applying uh, the two colors, I am going to make sure that uh, this first layer of uh, color is uh, totally dry. So I'm using my heat gun to speed up the process. And now that it is dry, it's permanent, so it will not react with any paint that I am going to apply on top. Now I am going to use my brush again and apply a second layer using the exact same technique and uh, making sure that uh, everything is nicely blend and I don't have any gaps uh, anywhere. I'm also using my baby wipe to wipe off uh, areas and notice how I apply the color. I'm making sure that I don't uh, cover up the whole background and also I'm using a baby wipe to wipe off uh, areas since this is going to give a nice and a distressed look. And uh, my colorful background is pretty much finished and uh, I really love the outcome. To make my background more interesting I am using a little bit of uh, white acrylic paint and I am going to add some splashes. I have added uh, a few drops of water to thin it down and uh, now I am adding the splashes with a brush that has a nice and long bristle. This is going to make sure that I don't get only spots but also those splashes that look like uh, thin uh, white lines. So now I have uh, this uh, rice paper which is by Stamperia and I think that is a great idea to work with uh, this uh, product because not only it is uh, very thin so it doesn't add uh, bulk to your art journal but at the same time they have great um, designs that uh, you can use. You can use uh, a rice paper as it is as a whole or you can cut out uh, areas like I'm doing today. So I'm, I have cut out um, the brass and also one of the butterflies and uh, I am roughly cutting it out. I'm not paying any attention at the moment and uh, this is going to be the focal point for my art journal. Now just because this is transparent if I stick it on top of my art journal then you will be able to see the colors at the background. So I decided to stick it on a white paper so when I color it, it will not be transparent. I will be using transfer gel which is actually gel medium by Stamperia and uh, I am going to use that to stick uh, the butterfly and the brush on white cardstock. I have applied a, a thin layer of uh, transfer medium on my cardstock and now I am covering my butterfly. This is going to make the butterfly sturdier and uh, it is going to be easier for me to color as well as to cut out. 
there are many other mediums to use uh, for rice paper to stick it down instead of transfer gel. You can always use um, the media gloss gel paste, which is uh, going to dry transparent. This is the gel that I'm talking about, and it's going to give a nice and um, shiny finish to your uh, project. After sticking both my images down, I am going to use my heat gun to speed up the drying process and then I am going to use my scissors to cut out both the images. To color my butterfly, I will be using three different shades of uh, purple. This is uh, Allegro acrylic paint by Stamperia. And all the colors that I'm using are listed below the video. Now I am using uh, three shades of this color and I am going to apply it with a nice soft brush. Uh, this is the one that I'm using and you can see how thinner this uh, flat brush is than uh, the one that I've used for my background at the first technique. So just because this uh, acrylic paint is uh, opaque, I will be using a few drops of water to thin it down because if I go heavily with this, it is going to cover up the whole design of the butterfly. So you can see how it works uh, if uh, you thin it down. You, I can still see the background. I am going to cover up with the first shade and I'll go heavily here so you can see how opaque it can be. But I still have a few uh, minutes before it dries to wipe off uh, the black area, mainly the black, because I want to keep that detail on my butterfly. I am going to cover up the whole butterfly with a lighter shade. I will apply the medium shade from the center towards uh, the outside of the butterfly. And uh, finally I will be using the darker shade of uh, purple only at the center of the two wings. To color the image of uh, the brush, I am using uh, this acrylic paint, which is also by Stamperia, but it's from another line. This is heavy body acrylic paint, it is also permanent and opaque. And I am using silver, which is not only going to color this part of the brush, but it's also going to add some shimmer. With the blending tool, I am applying a little bit of brown ink all uh, on the edges of uh, the butterfly and uh, the brush. And this is going to add a little bit of shading at the edge, but at the same time, I am getting rid of that uh, white edge that uh, shows once I have cut out uh, the butterfly. This technique gives my images a more finished look and uh, they also look like they have been cut out perfectly. I am going to place both images on my layout and decide where everything is going to go just to make sure that I can add the stenciling where I want to. So this is a stencil by Stamperia again which I am going to add as my quote today. 
I was planning to use modeling paste with my spatula all over the words, but uh, then I decided that uh, just because uh, those words are big enough and they fall on uh, the fold of uh, my book, and I don't want to add dimension there, so I'm going to leave my spatula and modeling paste aside, and instead I'm going to use heavy body white acrylic paint. To apply the paint, I am going to use a foam tool, which is specifically designed for uh, stenciling, and uh, you can either use this, I am going to choose uh, one of the smallest ones so that I can have better control of what I'm doing or you can use one of those uh, stencil tools with the brush that are also specifically designed for uh, this uh, thing. So I'm going to hold the stencil with my hand, I'm not going to stick it down anywhere and I'm going to dab 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 until all the words are there. Also notice that uh, this word says dreams but I am going to use only dream then I am going to stencil the word inspire and at the end, instead of uh, stenciling the word creative, I will be somehow alter this and uh, stencil the word create. You see what, you'll see what I mean in a few seconds. In order to have uh, great results um, on this technique, you need to go slowly, take your time and uh, dab all over. Now, I, it, although it seems that I'm doing it uh, quite fast, it's not because uh, remember that this is two times the actual speed that I did it in real life. I am really happy how this uh, turned out and uh, I really love this uh, stencil. You will be seeing me using it again because I want to use that uh, art word at uh, the top of that stencil. So now just to make uh, this uh, a little bit more interesting, I am going to use this uh, floral stamp by Stamperia and you can see how you can stamp by using your acrylic paints. This is heavy body acrylic paint again, the exact same one that I've used for the stenciling. I am mainly adding some details at the edges of my layout and once I finish using uh, the stamp and the dabber I am going to wash them with uh, water and they were as good as new. And now here is a great technique that uh, you can do for adding shading all around your uh, images. Now all you need is your uh, ink pads and I will be using a brown ink pad by Stamperia today. So as you can see I am before sticking down everything I am using my pencil to draw a line on the inside of the images. So, so I have uh, the outline of where everything is going to go. With my blending tool I am going to apply some ink on uh, the inside and going outside the lines just a little bit. This is going to make sure that I have a nice and smooth uh, shadow all around the images once I am going to stick them down. Notice that I go just a little bit outside the, of the lines, I don't go heavily with the ink and I am also making sure that uh, I avoid harsh lines. And now finally the fun part, it's time to stick down the butterfly and the brass and create the focal point of my layout. Now everything is uh, sticked down and uh, the glue is dry, so I can use my black marker to go all around the edges and add a few more details on the butterfly, after all this is the focal point, and then I am going to use my white gel pen to add a few more highlights on the butterfly as well as on the brass. 
And as I'm doing that, I just want to let you know that I cannot recommend using a rice paper on your art journals enough. They are thin and they do not add a thickness to your art journal. They are really inexpensive and you can draw inspiration out of them since they have so beautiful designs and uh, you can use them either for uh, your backgrounds as I did uh, on my previous uh, art journal or as the focal point just like I did today. And remember, you can use uh, either rice paper or even napkins or any other thin medium that is actually made for decoupage. As a finishing touch, I am going to do some stenciling at the edges just to frame my layout. I am using this beautiful stencil by Stamperia and instead of using modeling paste again, I will be using heavy body white acrylic paint. I did that because uh, I decided that since I haven't added any dimension at the page, I am going to keep it flat. After all, I had uh, so much fun dabbing uh, with that uh, foam tool, the acrylic paint, and it was a nice change from uh, the stenciling with the spatula that I usually do. Also make sure that you are not using uh, fluid acrylics for this technique or uh, the, because uh, the fluids are going to go under your stenciling. You need to use heavy body acrylic paint. And since I have my tool loaded with uh, white paint, I am going to go all around the edges. And to finish off my layout, as always, I am going to stamp the date. I will be using black ink pad. And that was the layout for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are some close-up photos of today's project. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click the subscribe button because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. For more inspiration, you can click on any of the videos on the screen right now or if you are watching from a mobile device, you can find the links to those videos just below in the details area. Thank you all for watching!